six o'clock just come down to see cattle you know because there's this becky here and we've sort of if a calf got stranded halfway down the bank or out like that or you know just wanted to come early and just brought her as well i don't know how they'll react but they have to get used to it in grass you know so when i do come and she's loose they don't just chase me and her around the field get down I don't seem that bothered at the minute. <coughs> she ain't really used to a lead, but... Come on, stop it, come on. Come on. Come on, let's... Just have to let them get used to us as well. Yeah, they look really well, don't they? You know, they're in a new environment, so they just need to be get used to us walking about and all. This little chalk stream, it, it changes its path, you know, every year it sort of cuts a little bit of bank, you know, you get a flood and it cuts that bank in and it's to, it deposits its silt at that side, so you get a bit more grass at that side and a bit less at this side, but Christ, in my lifetime, I'm sure, when I was a kid it nearly runs straight through here, you know, from that bridge behind that bush and meandered straight through nearly to that uh, into that into that wood and now it's just sort of totally changing its path but it don't really make a, any difference to us come on any difference to us but you know if there was a house there it would you know if there was like buildings or you know you'd have to change it i don't know how you'd go about sort of straightening it if you needed to I always wanted to say straighten it there, say straighten it there and then dig this out and have a big pond, but I don't know whether you'd ever get permission now, you know what, what's happening with environment agency and one thing or another, come here, Oi. come here, come here, Willow, good dog, I don't want you running off, right, I'll go see what's happening at the farm and get some jobs done, got quite a list of spraying to do. Um, all sorts of jobs, but just want ticking off. It's all come at once, really, hasn't it? All work. Field of maize we're preparing. Jake's bringing slurry to us. He's injecting slurry into into it, and uh, I'm just sort of ripping it up and cultivating it in because there is a little bit of smell. So, and it upset me neighbour last time. It 
was quite, it was quite angry. Oh. They put fire out. It was quite angry actually. <laughs> Jake's paddling it quite bad with tanker, so we're just giving it a right good. Come on up, girl. Give it a right good stem up with this drag before we do our belts. I don't think there's any panic to drill this. Most farms have one. You know, you still eat nettles for dragging your wheelings out or dragging some, you know, even a track out. Quite a robust thing. It's bloody good drags, in fact. Ours has got low draft light legs, what sort of peak forward. And they're a bit better than the normal uh, straightish ones. That ladder needs to wash his bloody wind. It's crazy, you can hardly see with it, son. Coriander's coming out fa fantastic. Really pleased. Yeah, Christ almighty. It won't... I came down there this morning and there wasn't as much as that showing, so it's grown quite a lot. Coriander's coming well. Um, he, uh, he's instructed me to do a video. He's up in Scotland, he's my customer. Um, and uh, he's not moving down here until his crop's ready. And uh, he just tells me to do him a video from time to time on my phone and send it up so he can instruct me what he recommends. Because I think there's some foliar feed to go on this soon. As soon as it gets a little bit bigger, there'll be... There's, the drill's bunched it up a bit, I don't know why. Um, but it's quite lovely. You can smell it's coriander. It's real strong is the little leaves. Um, so I think there'll be a foliar feed to put on here fairly sharpish. And then there's his second stage hasn't come out yet. It's getting dry actually. We've had a lot of drying winds. And it's gone from one extreme to the other. It's not to a point that we're thinking about putting irrigator on yet, but it'll um, uh, we could just do with a shower of rain and it'll really pep it up. But this morning it's full of find your woolly hat job. It's freezing this morning. You know, I'm going to get a coat before I go around Cal. be all new blingy equipment to do a job because this is doing a job it's not taking a lot of pulling neither good day rat results have been uh, very slim lately but uh, got this young fella last last night so there's still a few about but right, just having a some big pigs now. This is, this this yard's full of small, so but in a couple of yards where big ones are, there's some massive pigs. I'll soon be taking some out. You've been busy with her. Was that you? Just come home from work and Willow's been home alone today. She's been busy uh, well, wrecking stuff. <laughs> <laughs> 